This is only a test. This is a test. What is up everybody, this is your boy First of Mankind, and today we have another Black Ops 4 gameplay. This time we are in Hardcore, and we are using pistols only. This was when I was going for pistol camos, and uh, I have them diamond now, um, but I was using, this is the RK-7 Garrison. It reminds you a lot of the B-23R from Black Ops 2, and I mean, it, it's just a great gun in general, but... I don't know what's going on with the audio file with this gameplay. For some reason, it's all jacked up. I don't know what the heck happened. It was starting off fine, and then it just started messing up or whatever. I'm not even sure if it's like that for like the entire video or whatever, but if it is, I guess I'll try to talk through most of it. Because, I mean, this first half is pretty boring, but I, I want you to see some of the things I do with the RK Garrison and why I believe, like, I like this gun. But I believe it, it's terrible. Like, it's terrible. I was struggling in hardcore with a three round burst gun. And it wasn't because I wasn't hitting my shots. It was just, there's just so many weapons that this has to compete to. Unlike the Strife and the Mu and the Muzo, which the Muzo is basically the hand cannon of the pistols that is it's ridiculous. It's the hand cannon of the pistols. That's just all I can say. It's a revolver and it hurts like a mofo. And then the strife, which is just a standard handgun, but it pales like this gun pales in comparison to a standard handgun. And it's just it's just quite annoying, you know, that I had to work so hard with this gun, but I pull out a standard handgun and everything just turns into my favor. But yeah. The whole time you'll see me playing this gameplay, I'll probably just be doing nothing but going for headshots. And even when I'm like not trying to do that, I'm still doing my hardest to get the kills. But you'll see sometimes where I shoot people and they won't die, and I'll still die out of that altercation. It's stupid, it sucks, I hate it. But this is actually a cool clip right here. Cap out about three of them with the spawn trap, and then. One of the guys was like, yeah, I'm not going to let that keep happening. So, then I got dropped. But yeah, um, there's not really much I have to say on this gameplay until like the second half comes around. It's just, if the, okay, actually, let's talk about camos because that's what I was getting. Camos in this game, as of right now, there is no supply drops. But, pretty damn sure like how well supply drops have been doing in the past like what three four call of duties yeah four call of duties because world of war two i skipped this one i skipped world war two which i shouldn't have skipped world war two that was actually a pretty fun cod but yeah um the last like four call of duties um if you if you count the remake on a uh, cod four that would be five they've been doing supply drops and you know, paying paying to win is what people like to say. I don't necessarily believe in that because some people only do it to get cool camos. Other people only do it to get cool calling cards or... So most of the time it's for a weapon. That's what normally people spend. It's customization. is what people really want. But they just don't have the time or they just don't feel like that they should work extra hard to get something that's only cosmetic. Which... I can I can resonate with that to be completely honest cuz doing these camos I suffered a KD loss so it was like I can totally resonate with not putting forth your like best foot for something that's cosmetic which I just wanted pistols diamond just because I like pistols I am a pistol type of guy and I mean you if you've been on my channel you know I've had pistol gameplays I had one on Infinite Warfare. I do believe I had one on Black Ops 3 as well. And I mean, can't remember if I had one on Advanced Warfare or not. But yeah, I I was told by a few people who watch me, like that I'm actually like know in real life that are close friends. They were like, "Yeah, that that pistol stuff, you motivate me to be a better player because especially when you're in core. Like hardcore, no one cares. Anybody can do it." But 
and core when you go off with a pistol it's like wow I can't believe like this guy is shrekking our team with a pistol like we all have ARs we all have our biggest strongest hardest hitting guns and we're getting out gunned and outclassed by a handgun and it's just like I, I don't what are we supposed to do how do we bounce back from this and it's like if I already got streaks and my team is already rotating and things like that you probably can't like you just you're just gonna be stuck until the streaks and until we lose where you spawn at because the game decides it wants to help you out which I wish it helped me out more often and put me somewhere the hell else instead of always in front of the enemy but here I am doing my duties I pull out the strife and this is also the end of the first half now this is where the gameplay takes a turn with the back and forth kills and all that stuff yeah that that ends like right now like everything that you're about to see now is just gonna be us winning pretty much cuz look at this one shot I have a three I had a three burst damn pistol and this strife just a standard handgun one shots in hardcore and it was like didn't I have to put like two bursts into people with the with the garrison and it was just like I don't understand that logic it should be one burst if not two bullets out of the burst because it's hardcore they no one should stand a chance really against anything and you know saying that out loud it really it's really it's painful because it's like I really want to use the garrison I really like that pistol it's a really cool pistol if you've ever played uh, Parasite Eve 2 that is Aya Bear's like standard pistol that's the pistol she starts the game with and is a three burst pistol it's it's not the RK7 garrison but it might as well be because they look the exact same and I don't remember the actual model like the actual name and the actual model of that gun because I'm pretty sure Parasite Eve actually had that name but I it was like the M29 I think that was it like the M29F or something like that M9F it was something like that I think it was M9F like 9mm fully auto even though it's not a fully auto it's three round and there's like no perk you could put on that gun to make it a like fully automatic weapon but regardless of that fact yeah it brings back like nostalgia when I used to play Parasite Eve 2 and I can't tell you where I used to play it because apparently it's illegal although no one really cares if Square Enix was like hey you're exploiting our game like 35 years later who, who the fuck cares you've made all your profit off that game already and it's like you know how hard that shit is to find I don't even have a PlayStation 1 I would have to actually go buy a PlayStation 1 and then I would have to on top of that find the game and it's like I don't want to wait like 17 days to get it shipped from Japan when I can just pop it up on the emulator and just be happy and healthy you know and it's just like yeah I don't want to pull any hair out about that oh speaking of PlayStation have y'all seen the new PlayStation um, 1 remake that they're doing like they they actually are making the PlayStation 1 again but it has online it has an Ethernet cable port in the back of it but it has all PlayStation like not all PlayStation 1 games but some of the games that come with it Final Fantasy 7 and uh, I can't remember and Tekken 3 Tekken 3 and Final Fantasy 7 those are like the two guaranteed games I know and I was like do you know how fun it would be to play Tekken 3 online I don't want to think about Tekken 7. I doubt that would be online. What would you do? Leaderboards. Who, who gives a fuck about how fast you can complete the game unless you're a speedrunner and you're doing it at AGDQ. If not, then you're just playing with the emotions of other people who have like been struggling with something for like 20 plus years. And I mean, if you have been, why haven't you just like, what's the word I'm looking for? Why haven't you just like turn on cheats on the emulator or something and to put in the Pelican disc on PlayStation 1 and just pop up Infinite Health and then beat uh, Ruby Red and um, Witcher Mercalli. I can't remember Homeboy's name. The uh, other secret boss. But yeah, you just, it's just, 
Ah, it's just so much nostalgia, you know? I didn't even have Final Fantasy 7 on PlayStation 1. I had Final Fantasy 8, and my disc 2 and 3 were all flabbergasted. And the only discs that worked were 1 and 4. So when I went to play a new game plus, well, not a new game plus, but when I went to play a new game plus the knowledge I already had, because they don't have new game pluses in those old Final Fantasies, or at least not, I mean, at least not 8. But, um, yeah, um... Yeah, it was it was it was dreadful. I was quite sad because, you know, it was like I can't play my childhood nostalgia and you know get the Leon Heart first disc because you can play card games and then you can upgrade. I want to say it's either Shiva or Quetzalcoatl. They have the ability to make cards turn into like items. So you use that and then you get your Pulse Elmo and then there there's your Pulse Elmo. And I don't remember what cards you had to change to get that either, but I just remember you can get Lionheart, Leon's ultimate weapon, in the first disc of the game. But with that, that concludes this gameplay. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, here we go. 57 and 22 with the RK7 Garrison and the Strife 9 milli. Um... This game is fun. I'm having a lot of fun. I hope y'all enjoyed the gameplay. Sorry I had to ramble the entire damn thing, but something was going on with the audio, and I don't think I can fix it from where I am. So, with that being said, this is your boy, First of Mankind. I hope you did enjoy. And as always, the camera's always rolling. This is your boy, Kumakage, Ace of Space, Jack of All Trades. It doesn't matter what you want to call me. The game always results in it being over, and the camera is always rolling. Peace.